Hi guys, it's Dave Farmer, and welcome back to my series on Reaper. And today we're going to take a quick look at how to mimic the Pro Tools nudge functions. So let's say I take this clip here, and I'm going to hit the minus key, which in Pro Tools would nudge the clip. And you'll notice that you know when I click this clip here, the play cursor goes to wherever I've clicked. But when I do the nudge like this, I've got it snapping, the playhead snapping to the head of the clip. That mimics Pro Tools functionality more than just nudging the clip without moving the playhead. So let me just show you the actions real quick so you can set them up yourself. Go to Actions, Show Action List. I'll do Find Shortcut and type the minus key. So I have this set up. So it is Item Edit, Nudge Items Left by Last Nudge Dialog Settings. There's multiple ways to do this. This is just how I have mine set up. I'll show you the nudge settings in a second. And this moves the playhead to the head of the clip. All right. So the same thing for nudge right. I just have it set to number pad plus key. Nudge items right by last nudge dialog settings and move cursor to start of items. Okay, so now the nudge settings are under view, nudge set items. And here you go and you set these however you want. You know, you, there's nudge here, there's set, I think that's for saving the value. Nudge position one frame. That's how I have mine set. But you can set yours however you like. Check these out. Perform a nudge. And then that will be your saved setting for the action that I showed you. Anyway, hope that helps you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.